My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's first reading in Psalm match up perfectly with the gospel and that they deal with the theme of awareness of our inherent sinfulness, whether in the first reading in Deuteronomy of Moses speaking of the collective sinfulness uh, and the failure of the people of Israel to keep God's covenant, or in the Psalm speaking more intimately towards God of, uh, of sparing his judgment on, on you and I, on us, for our sinfulness. And so in light of this, in the gospel, Jesus compares and holds side by side the measure of mercy given and the mercy received. Sometimes there's the phrase, and I speak of it often because uh, it's kind of in the the Catholic lexicon, unofficially one of those terms you always hear, people talking of Catholic guilt. Uh, And it's important to to realize we can laugh about this, but it's also a, a dangerous spot. It can shed a light on a place where we fail to understand. And that is, yes, uh, the practice of our Catholic life and prayer should constantly reveal to us our guilt. But the point of constantly calling to mind our guiltiness is not from a sense of to feel bad about ourselves. It's not to conjure up shame or a distancing from God and others. Instead, our awareness of our guilt both humbles us and therefore opens us up to greater mercy and charity to others and greater gratitude for the love of God. That is, when I'm haughty in heart and I don't constantly examine my conscience, when I'm not aware at any moment of how sinful I am, then it's very easy to become the center of my own universe. After all, if I'm so wonderful, I don't need God. And if I'm so wonderful, I can look down on everyone else who's constantly doing wrong. But when I am mindful of my sinfulness, I realize I am no better than anyone else. In fact, I am deserving of so much worse than I get, and yet God is so wonderful and loving. Actually, how precious, how wonderful I must be that he loves me so, despite my wrongdoing. When we do this, we grow in gratitude towards God, but also we become greater in our capacity to share mercy with others. When I'm aware of the fact that at times I'm prideful or I'm lazy or I'm sharp in speech towards another or the, the, the various hang-ups that I have, then suddenly when I encounter the same attitudes or the same failings in others, I won't be so quick to condemn because I'm aware that I myself am a sinner. This is important. This is the time in Lent that we are aware. This is the the ashes and sackcloth approach to Lent and our prayer and our fasting, our almsgiving, constantly throwing ourselves on the mercy of God is not in a sense to be beaten up or to think you know, badly of ourselves, or that somehow this is to make us think of how wretched we are in the sight of God, but instead, again, to appreciate just how much he loves us, to put up with us, and most of all, how much others must put up with me, and therefore the least I can do is to be merciful. Judge not lest you be judged. Be merciful, as the Lord says today. And so, my brothers and sisters, may they they start well this Lenten season with a greater commitment to examining our consciences. May God bless you all.